That's bite. a bass. I thought I seen Silver Flash. I was wrong. Not what we're looking for. There's gonna be a big crop. <laughs> yeah. I thought I seen silver flash a few times, but I did. Oh, a little late turning the video on here. Let's see here, get him in the boat. <laughs> Get a good crappie right there. Water temp starting to heat up. Got in the low 70s. It was pretty cold last night down here, so. I think they moved to the deeper water and we've been fishing shallower. But looks like the bite's gonna turn on a little bit. Hooked up again. Let's see here. Oh shoot. He got a fish on and hung up in a tree. And, and in the tree. Okay, there it is. See here what he's good crappie. Good crappie. Lead minches. He's definitely nine, that's what matters. Tell everybody where we're at today, Larry. We are Youthville, Alabama. That was a of course I catch fish and what do I do? <laughs> Throw right in the tree. Well, I'm gonna get back to fishing here. There he is. There he is. Good crappie. Good paper mouth. Put him in the live well. Did you get tied back on, Daddy? Yeah. Tell him what you did. I threw right out there into the tree next case. After I caught the fish. Got excited and threw right in the tree. Well, if you don't get excited, you might as well stay home. That's what it's all about. Getting out here, having fun, getting excited. Enjoying what God give us. Here you go, move foot. Praying we do. I had to run that aerator quite a bit too, keep them somewhat cool down. Oh, he's hooked up again. Good crappie. Uh, 
Oh no. Can you get him unhooked? That's where you want it. Check him out, see if he's worth going in there. How long is he, Daddy? About ten and a half. Ten and a half. We'll get him in a live well and get us moved back around. You're gonna float over where you've been catching. Good male. Well, show him to the camera real quick. I want to. I want to catch him. You want that short rod? Oh, he's a splashing. Guys, it's been a slow morning. I mean, one of those mornings you just want to get on your knees in the middle of the boat and just start praying because you feel like you've done something wrong not to catch no fish. It's a rough day, but they're starting to turn on. Now, uh, how I didn't just lose everything right there, I do not know. Up her nose. No, I hadn't, I hadn't even paid attention to that. He might not measure. What do I got to be here? Nine inches? Nine inches. Oh, he's nine and a half. All right. Put him in the box. Get a line back in the water. There he is. Yep. See if we can flip him in the boat here. All right, got another one for the live wheel. Dang. Well, I was worried about setting the hook at the distance that I had casted, but evidently I had no reason to worry. I'm having trouble. I might have to get some pliers. Dang! Get this thing linked through the nostril. 
and it ain't wanting to come out of here. There we go. In the box. All right. Show him here. Well, he measures it. Go ahead, turn it off. Here's another one for the box. We hadn't had a hookup in a little bit, and we turned the cameras off. Then he hit right next to the boat. How many is in there? Of the day. Yep. One I caught wasn't too bad a bass. He's that probably one you caught pretty good. two and a half pound. That's why they call him Larry Dink. <laughs> yeah. All right. He pulled on the line. I don't know if he'll be a keeper or not. Well, I keep turning the camera off because I'm trying to retie. And he keeps catching them, which is pissing me off because I want to get my line in the water. I ain't sure if this is a keeper. You just gonna throw him back? Oh, I can't even get him unhooked. You got, do you have the flowers out, Logan? Yeah, they're down there. Another keeper. Another keeper, I believe. I'm going to measure and make sure. At least 10 inches. They only got to be 9. He's right at 10. Yep, he's hooked back up. It looks like a bluegill. It is, it's a big bluegill. No, it ain't. I swear to God, I could have seen a red belly there for a second. It's a slab. You call that a slab there, Daddy? Yeah, it's a slab. How long is he? How long is he? He looked bigger in the water. He's close to 12 inches. 11 and a half. 11 and a half. He looked a little bigger in the water, but 11 and a half is still a real good crappie. We can't hardly catch 11 and a half inch crappie at our lake. I mean, it they up the size of 10, which I like, which is gonna help the population, but it's hard to even catch a keeper crappie at our home lake. Okay, black. Small male spawning. You see what he does to me? Right up there is where we're catching them. He's gonna point the nose of the boat at it so I can't cast there. I, well, I haven't uh, moved this in a while. We've he's loaded it down here. Doing me dirty. It's all right. Whatever makes him feel good, just he wants to try to catch up. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> That's nine, right. right, nine and a half. Nine and a half, we'll throw him in the box. Show him the box real quick, Daddy. Oh, 
several in there. Just keep fishing. Having a great time today, guys. Hey, I was disappointed, man. Hadn't caught a fish. He of little faith. You got it? Mm, you're right. I'm gonna have to get my camera while I turn it back on. Yeah, he don't know how to work his Gro GoPro, and I don't know how to speak of it. I'm spending my time filming him and keeping my line out the water, but it's all right. See if he gets another bite here. Can we get a woo like old Richard Gene does? Uh, 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 he was, he, he'd have been very disappointed. Well, guys, we'll be back with you when we get another one hooked up. Show him to the camera. Another pretty good one. He about yeah. swallowed it. Alrighty. Well, he's going in the box. 